Okay, I'm making this video because uh, a lot of people have made gas tank repair videos, but the thing is, on these old Chinese motorcycles, the thing that usually breaks is the gas tank breaks right where the pet cock goes into the um, into the metal gas tank. So this one has been repaired with um, J and B weld, but usually the repair only lasts six to twelve months, and then it starts leaking again. I've actually found a way to repair this permanently. And um, the way that I figured out how to do it was by buying this uh, petcock part that's meant for Briggs and Stratton generators or Duramax generators. And um, this is basically a, a completely plastic petcock that fits in. It's meant to go into a plastic gas tank that's meant for it. And what you do is you stick this into the hole that's already in the plastic gas tank. It's a rubber grommet. And then this thing fits up into the rubber grommet real snug. Well, I know that this works on this gas tank because my other Hawk 250, which is blue, had the same exact leak that Petcock broke. And so I ended up taking the Petcock completely off and then I drilled a about a half inch hole, whatever the, the right size hole that is for that to stick in there real snug. I drilled that hole in there and um, I, I put the rubber grommet in there like you're supposed to and then shoved this in there. and. Breaking some of this epoxy off. This one isn't as broken as my other one. The other one, the stem broke completely off. This is just cracked all the way around. I think I'm just going to break it off myself so I can put that rubber grommet in there. The JMB weld repair or even the gas tank repair uh, gum stuff or whatever doesn't work. All right, I've got I've got that petcock broken off, and um, there's a hole in here where it broke off, where I broke it off or whatever, but that hole's not quite big enough, and that hole needs to be about the same size as this, almost exactly the same size of it to where it fits in and out of it loosely, because when this thing fits in through here, in through this hole, um, it's gonna actually make it a little bit wider, because, you know, when it goes in there, it just, it barely fits in there. And then when it gets to the wide part right there, it actually makes the grommet bigger in diameter. So it's going to squeeze tight the hole that it's in. So I've got a drill bit here that's the exact same size. I recommend if you have like one of those uh, step bits or unibits or whatever, that's probably better. I got one of them in my work truck for that, but that's almost the exact same size. It almost wouldn't even matter if it's, if it's a little bit bigger because that thing, when I put it into the grommet is going to expand the rubber out a little bit. And I think when I did this last, I did drill the hole out a little bit bigger than it was, but I still put J and B weld on the whole thing when I finished. And even though J, J and B weld wasn't really working on repairing the stem with this type of rubber grommet repair, it does for some reason. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and drill this out. I've got the, the top of the gas tank open. The gas tank's been empty for a long time, but I can still smell a little bit of fumes. Okay, so I drilled this out a little bit more to where that would fit in there, like, fit in there a little bit easier because when I press this part in here, it expands this out. So I actually put it in there and dry fitted it just to make sure it would work. Now I just mixed up some GMB quick weld and I'm going to put a little bit of this on the bottom before I put the, the rubber grommet in there just because that, like, like I said, if there's any variations between the metal and the rubber, it tends to just make sure that um, it fills in all those. But it, it, JMB weld in this case doesn't really, isn't what really what's stopping the leak or whatever. It's just making sure everything, it's kind of acting like a like a, a second sealant washer or something. Okay, so now that's in there. Stick a little rubber grommet there. And then in this case, my feel is facing to the backwards, so I'm going to stick that in there. And then I'm going to press on this real hard. Get the pop 
in there. Okay, good. We're good. So I got it facing backwards. It's popped in there. That's kind of what it looks like right there. Um, I've got everything the way I want it. I'm going to put a little bit more uh, JMB weld around the edge of this rubber grommet just because I think that's how I did the last one. I can't remember if I put any JMB weld between the plastic and the the rubber grommet. I don't think I think I did. I think last time when I did this I dry fitted I tried to do it dry and there was a little bit of gas leaking between the rubber and the metal and I was like well I'll just put JMB weld or whatever but it's held for so long so in terms of a broke broken petcock stem this is the best repair that I know of. And while you're still using a little bit of JMB weld, that's not really what's repairing the, the petcock stem. That's like, you'd have to do nothing short of weld a new stem onto your gas tank, which would be very difficult. Because you have to get all the gas streams out of your gas tank, flush it with water a few times, and spark test it and everything. But this is just like, really it's the rubber grommet that's repairing the petcock stem. And although with this repair, you don't get like a a reserve fuel and a, a regular fuel thing like if you're starting to run low on gas you don't have the reserve option and um, that kind of sucks if you're doing like long motorcycle road trips I would recommend like I don't, I don't know what I'd recommend all I know is this, this will repair your petcock stem no one else on the internet has made a video about how to do this or has come up with a solution and this is something that um, I guess I'll just attribute it to God showing me how to do this or I just stumbled across this. There's probably a couple other people in the world that have figured out how to do this the same way or better, but that is basically my repair for the cheap Chinese metal gas tanks that uh, petcock stems tend to break off right at, the, right at the gas tank. That's the best way to repair it that I know of. And um, that concludes the video. Okay, here's a video of the bike running with the new pet talk repair on it. And you can see there is no gas leaking anywhere up in there. Um, that's this is as good a camera angle as I can get on there, but that pet cock looks real good. It's got the you know it doesn't have the reserve setting on it, it's just got the on off it's on. But yeah, there's there's no gas leaking on that, and I've got the same repair on my other hawk. It's two two plus years old. Those hornets don't like my petcock repair very much, do they? No, I don't think they do.